In total, there were 26 hoodies out of 80 from Saeed Vintage that were really, really, well, let's face it, sh <laughs> A few weeks ago, I bought a premium, top quality hoodie bale from Saeed Vintage. And unfortunately, 26 out of 80 hoodies in that bale were completely unsellable. They were useless, whole stains, really, really bad. I complained to Saeed Vintage and they've sent me 26 replacements. I wonder if they're any good. Welcome back to Cookie in the Haydens. I'm Carboot Chris. I'm a full-time reseller here in the UK and I sell any kind of stuff. I'm an everything seller. Um, I use eBay and whatnot at the moment. And um, a few weeks ago, I bought a bale of premium hoodies, premium branded hoodies. In fact, they were so premium that Saeed Vintage had on their website that if I paid a little bit more for this bale, that these were going to be triple checked, three times checked before putting the bale to make sure they, they were top quality with no faults. Anyway, I unbailed that bale on whatnot a couple of weeks ago, live. As far as I'm aware, the first time a bale's ever been opened like that and sold off on whatnot. And yes, we sold some stuff, but also I was finding that quite a lot of the hoodies were not good, like holes and stuff. So obviously I didn't sell them, I put them in a pile to the side. And in total, there were 26 hoodies out of 80 from Saeed Vintage that were really, really, well, Let's face it, sh There's no other word for it, unfortunately. Um, anyway, I complained, and actually, Saeed Vintage were very, very gracious. I have to give them their due. They apologised profu profu They apologised profusely. They apologised... They apologised a lot, and they promised that if I returned the 26 bad hoodies, they would replace them with 26 good hoodies. So here they are, they're down here in this box. I'm gonna open it now and see what Saeed have sent me in replacement. I'm hoping it's good, because I still need to make some money out of that bale. I haven't made, well, I've made a tidgy bit, but barely anything. I'm gonna crack it open and see what we got. I hope I don't have cause to complain twice, because I just can't be arsed with it. I've got better things to do in my time. Jesus. Anyway, let's see what we got. I can see hoodies. I can see actually they've written 26 pieces on the top of the box. So someone's been tasked with putting 26 things in here and I hope it's good. Anyway, let's make some space, get rid of the knife. Let's see what we pull out here. Starting off with a North Face, it's a good start. It's a nice start, North Face, Berkeley, California, USA. Um, it is a size medium, grey. Can you see that? Is it too bright in here? I don't know. Hope it's okay. Um, looks nice, actually. Condition looks good as well. So it's a decent start, that. Size medium. Uh, I can see some more North Face in here. Maybe they've just decided to, you know what, sod it. Let's send him a box of North Face. Which I will not grumble at because here's another North Face here. This is a full zip hoodie. Uh, this is a ladies full zip hoodie. Size small by the looks of it. Yeah, it's definitely a small size. Hope you can see that okay. Good condition, so I'm happy with that one. So far, so good. What's this one? Can't even see it. It's another North Face. Um. What size are we on on this one? This is a men's extra large. Uh, this one's got a couple of little marks on it, but I think I'll shove that through the wash. It's got a little bit of wear on the on the neck V bit there, but other than that, it still looks okay. Just needs a wash, I think, that one. That's all right. Another North Face coming out. This time it's a red one. I think they have. I just think they've just thought... Oh, just give him the North Face stuff and just be done with it. Because they did cock up, to be honest with you. So I think that 
that I deserve to get something decent off them. Um, size small, uh, red and black, North Face. It's got the super creases in, it's clearly come straight out of a bale, but it's not a problem, we'll sort those out. Uh, I might even do a whatnot show and sell these off. You know, that's how we started doing these hoodies, so I might finish it like that. This one doesn't look like North Face. Oh, it is North Face. It's a, it's a weird, funky tree sort of design North Face. Now, what size is this? I don't know, actually. This is, oh, there it is. It's a youth large. Looks in good nick. Oh, here we go. We're, we've done with the North Faces. Let's give him some... Some other stuff instead. Old Navy. Uh, quite a nice warm fleecy hoodie. Quite fleecy is what I would call that. Old Navy size XL. It's like a khaki dark green. Condition looks good. Are we done on the North Faces? No, we've got another North Face. Uh, this one is like a light mint green with a silver logo on it. You might even not be able to see that great, but it's got a little silver logo on that one. Looks like a women's, to be fair. It's got a little bit of bobbling on it, which I can get rid of, no matter. It's a women's large, that one. Minty green, silver logo. A little bit of wear on the logo. What do we have here? Is this a sports hoodie? Cardinals. No, sorry. I can't read upside down, you should know that by now. <clears throat> I still can't read normal. Canadians, that's hard for me to read from there. Canadians, is it NHL? It is NHL, you see, I do, I do know a little bit. It's a size large, Canadians NHL hoodie. A little bit of bobbling, but it's not bad. I've got an Adidas one here, Adidas, oops, a daisy, Adidas black hoodie, missing the strings, UK size large, uh, what, uh, 2014 hoodie, not bad, certainly better than the crap that was sent to me in the first place, which really, I'm surprised they even wanted me to send it back, because I sent them pictures of it. It was disgraceful, some of it. NHL, Reebok, size medium. I can't read that. You should know by now. Anaheim Ducks. Is that the Mighty Ducks? Uh, we're getting a bit of a pile going on here. Oh, we've got two there. Let's put that one back. What's this one? Patriots, NFL, not a, not a jersey. It's made by Majestic. It's XL. That's quite a nice one. Patriots hoodie. I'm going to have to shift these out because we're going to get a pile that's too big. Where can I put it? Ugh! Let's see what else we got. I'm kind of glad that they weren't all North Face because... I don't know. Well, maybe it would have been better just having no face. Never mind. Cavaliers. Cavaliers basketball. Cleveland Cavs. NBA size medium. That's okay. That's okay, that. So far, I'm very happy with these replacements. I have to be honest. Thank you, Saeed Vintage, for heeding my complaint and giving me some decent replacements. Nike Medium, UNCP Track and Field. I think most of these hoodies are probably minimum 10 to 15 pound each, maybe a little bit more on some. So I'm okay with that. I'm absolutely fine with that kind of value. A little bit of mark on that one. That'll come off, that's fine. Bit of chocolate or something. Minnesota Nike Hoodie Yellow. What size is this one? That's a size large. I'm all right with these. I am going to have to 
uh, get the creases out of them, especially if I'm going to put them on eBay. Or I, I could just whatnot them straight as they are, a bit like a continuation of the show that we did a few weeks back on whatnot, because we sold them straight out of bales. Uh, Adidas, Adidas, Adidas Climber Warm, size large. What is the, is this a team? Regis College Basketball. Summit purple here. Nike. What is it? Size large. Is it women's? Doesn't say women's, but it could be. I don't know the logo. It's a big W. Purple Nike, size large. I'll have to check if that's a women's or a men's. I don't know for sure. What's this one? Looks like a tie-dye style hoodie. This is quite nice. I like this. Not for me, obviously. It's not my thing, but I like the look of it. Um, size medium, Nike. What is that? Hun Boys Soccer. I like the, uh, the, the design on that one. I think that one probably will do quite well. What have we got here? Miami Dolphins. NFL. Looks vintage, this one, to me. It's got an arm patch here with the Dolphins on. Condition looks okay, probably for its age. It's got its neck straps. Uh, it, is, it is vintage. It's a starter. Pro line size large. That one's all right. That's probably one of the best ones that's come out, I think. Let's see what else we got here. This looks like another um, vintage one here. Can't read that one. No chance. Rangers. Uh, ice hockey. Oh, it's a New York Rangers. Needs a bit of a D-bobble on the logo, but other than that, it is vintage. A little bit of a mark on the bottom there, can you see? Bit of a mark on the bottom, bit of a stain, but it's not It's not um, so bad. Very bobbly on the back, so definitely needs a D-bobble. What size are we talking about on this one? Starter Vintage XL on that one, so yeah. I'll take that all day long compared to what I had the other week. Uh, I've got an NBA logo hoodie here. Uh, what is that? It looks like something's been written on the logo. And on here. Somebody's handwritten on this, which is really going to kill any value in this one. It's going to uh, literally kill any value. Um, as you can see here, it's got NBA, which it would have been nice without. But somebody's written... Jonathan, John Ath, Fan, Lownlin. Oh, talk about ruining a nice hoodie. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah, that one's ruined, unfortunately. That's really, right? Saeed, if you're watching this, that should not get through your quality checks. It's a freaking writing on the front I can cope with writing in a label, but not writing on the front. So that's the worst one of the lot because it's literally on. That's on. That is what I would class unsaleable. Um, I've got a Puma hoodie here. Oh, done it again. Um, quite a nice um, burgundy hoodie. I don't know what the size is on it. But quite a nice design on it. Puma. Maybe this will tell me. 2021. I'll have to study this more because it's not immediately jumping out at me, but let me have a look at it again. It's probably a large. I would probably guess medium to large. Let's see what else we've got in here. Um, a black hoodie, Nike, just a centre swoosh, um, embroidered swoosh, 
just nothing much else about it. The ties are, the ropes are missing. I don't know what size it is, so that's a bit naff, that one. That's not great. Tommy Hill figure. This looks quite nice. This looks okay. Nice big fat logo on the front. Looks in real nice condition as well. It's like a vinyl logo. Uh, size large. And I haven't kept count here of how many's here. Another full zip Nike hoodie. Just with the um, embroidered Nike on there. Size large, doesn't look a large to me. It could be a women's large. Mm. Oh, maybe. We're still going here. I don't know how many there's been. Whether we've got our full quota of 26 or not. What's that, starter? Nice vintage, starter, spell out logo, red hoodie. Size large. That's all right. A little bit bobbly around the arms, armpits, whatnot. Yeah. Bubbles we can handle. Stains, not so much. Holes, definitely not. What's this? This looks quite nice, actually. A nice retro style swoosh. Shame there's a couple of little marks on the front there. I might be able to get that out with the pink stuff. But I like the design of it. Did I notice something on the arm? I thought I saw something else. I might be wrong. Oh no, there. It's got on the arm. Oh, it's got a nice Nike sort of thing going on on the arm. Retro styling, double XL. So a nice big size. Yeah, that's quite nice. We might be able to improve upon this. That's not the end of the world. And the one at the bottom, which is the end, is, is it a Jordan? It's a nice way to end if it is. Nike Air Jordan size large, full zip with snap buttons on it. Looks in fair condition. All the pockets look okay there. That looks all right, that. Anything on the back? No, just plain. So it's like blue with a yellow logo. That's not bad at all, that one. So there we are. That's our replacement from Saeed Vintage. Um, I sent them back 26 completely unsaleable hoodies. Made a big complaint. They were very gracious with the complaint and they've sent me these back, which I think has been fair. There's been one in there that I just think is completely unsaleable with that writing on. Other than that, the rest have got saleable value, I think. Um, so I'm happy that they sorted that issue out. This video is not sponsored in any way. Um, I'm just sharing my experience that I've had with Saeed on this bale. Very disappointed though in the first place that a bale that I paid more money for because it said on it it was premium, triple checked, clearly was not triple checked. No way Jose in a million years was that bale triple checked. Be lucky if one person even checked it. Um, What can I say? I'm happy that this scenario has been resolved. We can put an end to it and I can flog these off. I might even just do a quick, well, not quick, it's never quick. I might do a whatnot show in the next couple of weeks and just sell off these hoodies. So if you've seen something you like, we might just do it and we'll sell them as is, like it is, cheap as chips. Yeah, there you go. So let me know what you think. Have you had any similar experiences with Saeed Vintage where they've quoted a, a bale as being premium grade and it's definitely not premium grade? Or have you had good experience? Because I'd like to sit on, not sit on the fence, but you know, have some balance because I'm not all about encouraging negatives. If people have had good experiences, put it in the comments below. I'll pop a couple of videos up right here. So if you wanna watch something similar about vintage clothing, then try these two out. I'll leave it with you. Thanks for watching everyone. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to make a comment or subscribe.